And we have to take this down to about 445, something like that. We're at 491. flange here has some flats on it to let me hold on to it. I removed the heating element which leaves this hole in here and watch. I can put a little pressure on this and this will unthread. Now I've never seen in any YouTube video or heard it mentioned that you can disassemble this head this far. As far as I know, I'm the first one to mention it, but who knows really, uh, could be, could be this has been done before, I've just not caught the video. But this makes it a whole heck of a lot easier to clean. Now when I, the very first time I took one of these apart, I noticed white material in here and I said, oh yeah, there is a Teflon tube in there. But really, the hot plastic here at the end is melted against the brass there on the inside. There's a cone on the inside too. When you twist this free, you're actually tearing the plastic and anytime you pull plastic it'll tend to turn white. So this is really just the plastic that I was last printing with, which was a gray plastic. Um, the last time I cleaned this I was printing with black and it uh, left the same kind of white area there at the end where I um, untwisted it. So this is something you can do with your uh, XYZ DaVinci printer to help you clean it out a little more. This can be cleaned out and I'm not necessarily endorsing this as the perfect way of doing it um, but I'm going to run a 181 drill bit through here to help me clean out the plastic um, and then I'm going to soak it in some acetone to get it even cleaner still. This can be cleaned out with a number 46 drill bit which measures .081 and we hopefully will not scratch or mar the inside of it although it's a possibility. I'm not super worried about it because I've got a new head to replace it. But that's a way to clean this out. And you couldn't do this, use this method when it's installed in the extruder block because you would ruin your your uh, point four millimeter orifice there. So let's get this done. of a bear to hold on to. drill press only has, um, I don't know, it doesn't have enough stroke. Yeah, 
and we need almost the full length of the drill bit. Well, it came through on the bottom. I've done this procedure one prior time successfully. And I got one printing session out of my printer. before it clogged up again. So now we're ready to put it in acetone. Here's the container of acetone I used last time. See how much is left. About a week ago. Oh, enough. that soak for a while. I need some kind of sh syringe or something to make sure I've pushed all the air out of it. Let me make it very deep and fill it this way. There we go. Should be solid acetone now. We'll cover that up. Rolling that nut through there to open up the jaws. And I can see it's 0 .443, so 443,000. So that's going to be what I turn the uh, stem down to. And just kind of eyeballing this, the height of the, of the other heat sink back there, we're going to call that 200 thousandths. So 0.4. 43 or 0.450 and 200. End up facing that off. Now we have to take this down to about 445, something like that. We're at 491. So I have uh, 45, 46 more to go. So we will move the dial. There's the 6, 10, 20. Yeah, we're just going to take off a little bit here. It's kind of a nasty cut.
467. About 10 more to take off. Forty-five, perfect.